Ndipo maana kitabu kinasema niliwachagua nyinyi na mke nichagua mimi. I chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruits. Amen. Nikaambia watu wengine nastaki washirika wengi hata makanisa yenu wa pastors walio kwa hapa na makanisa si kweli? Na washirika wengi waseme hii ushuda. Haleluya. Hati bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. Unajua mimi nilimchagua Yesu kama bwana na mwokozi wa maisha yangu ulichagua Yesu mchaguliwa wapi ulichagulia Yesu wapi unakutana naye wapi ndio ukamchagua alinichagua kwani unafikia Yesu ni mwanasiasa utaenda kumchagua Yesu si mwanasiasa yeye ndio utuchagua yes yeye ndio utuita uone tu nani anasema Selina 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 jo utakuwa mtumishi wangu. Selina, Selina njo nimekuchagua. Kambari ya kwenye yote, kabila ya kwenye yote nimekuchagua. Katika familia yenu nimekuchagua. Selina kuja, Selina kuja. Wewe ni mtumishi wangu nimekuchagua. Nimeku nimekuwa point, kuwa pastor nimekuwa point, kuwa kiongozi nimekuwa point kuwa hii. Umesikia wewe yeye ndio kuita. Ndio maana hapa maandiko yanasema amuke nichagua turudi pale sisi wote. Turudi pale katika kitabu cha John 15 verse 16 You did not choose me Ah chukua Biblia kama una Biblia kuja karibu ya rafiki yako You did not choose me Sio ninyi mlinichagua mimi Ah means kwa nini naongea kizungugana mimi naongea kikala njini ama naongea kikuyu ama You did not choose me Sio ninyi mlinichagua mimi Hallelujah Amen You did not choose me Sio ninyi mlinichagua mimi But I chose you. Bali ni mimi niliyewachagua ninyi. Hallelujah. John 15 verse 16. Yohana 15:16. He didn't choose Jesus. Atu aku amkumchagua Kristo. He chose you. Yeye ndiye aliyekuchagua. And appointed you. Na akakuweka. To be his servant. Kwa mtumishi wake. Praise be the name of the living God. Jina la Bwana ni leader in the church. Kwa kiongozi kanisani. Hallelujah. You don't you didn't choose him. Hukumchagua wewe. He chose you. Alikuchagua yeye. Are you understanding that English? Mnaelewa hiyo Kiswahili? Are you understanding that Kiswahili? Eh? So you should say thank you Jesus. Kwa hivyo lazima for choosing me. Hallelujah. Amen. Mwambie Mungu asante kwa kuchagua. Because you are people in the world to serve you. Katikati ya watu wote ulimwenguni nikutumikie. Hallelujah. Amen. I give all the praise. Nakupa sifa zote. Because Jesus he chose me. Maana Kristo ulinichagua. Hallelujah. And you appointed me. Na ukanichagua kwa your prophet. Kwa mtumishi wako. Kwa your pastor. Kwa mtuna wako. Kwa pastor. Kwa mchungaji wako. To be your servant. Kwa mtumishi wako. To be a leader in the church. Kwa kiongozi kanisani. You chose me and you appointed me. Ulinichagua mimi. As a deacon in your house. Kwa zamazi katika kanisa. This is the house of any person. Sio kwa nyumba ya mtume. This is the house of the living God. Nyumba ya Mungu aliye. This is the house of your father. Hii ni nyumba ya baba yako. Praise be the name of the living God. When you are here do not think that you are out. You are in another church in the house of your father. Ma, ukiwa, When I come to your church, I'm in the house of my father. Ukija kanisani mwenu niko katika nyumba ya baba. Nyumba ya Mungu si ya mtu. Eh. When God chose me. Wakati Mungu alinichagua. He called me. Na akaniita. He appointed me. Na akanichagua. He gave me this altar. Akanipa haya madhabahu. And many altars. Na madhabahu mengine. He commanded me. Aliniamrisha. That altar is not your altar. Ah madhabahu sio madhabahu yako is the altar of my servants ni madhabahu ya mtumishi wangu who serve me with who fully and with one heart ambaye ananitumikia kikamilifu kwa moyo mmoja ni altar to serve me ni umetoa madhabahu haya wanitumikie i cannot say this altar is mine with my wife siwezi sema haya madhabahu ni yangu na mke wangu she the people mchafu yes 
Shindo ya people of church. This altar is the altar of the living God. Haya madhabahu ni madhabahu ya Mungu alihai. When somebody comes here. Wakati mtu anakuja hapa. And they stand here. Na anasimama hapa. The fire on that altar. Madhabahu moto wa hayo madhabahu. This is fire. Inaachilia moto. And they receive healing. Na anapokea upenyaji. Whether you are there or you are not there. Nowadays because of crime and people who are so bad. Siku hizi kwa sababu ya visa na mambo ambayo ni mabaya. The temple should not be closed. Hekalu alistahili kufungwa. The temple of the Lord the door should not be closed. Milango istahili kufungwa. That anybody who has a problem. Ili ya kwamba kila mmoja aliye na shida. Anyone who is passing through through uh, through through uh, through tribulation. Yeyote ambaye anapitia dhiki. They should come here. Awaje hapa. And kneel down. Na weke magoti yake. Naombe. And they repent. Na watubu. And they ask God for everything. Naulize Mungu kwa chochote. Whatever they need. Chochote anachohitaji. Mungu atajibu. Na waondoke wakienda. Because of the rotten world. Ni kwa sababu ya dunia imeoza. Ndio siku hizi tunafunga milango. Lakini makusudi ya Mungu. Hii milango haistahili kufungwa. Inastahili kuachwa wazi. Awe muamini ama si muamini wa kanisa. Aingie hapa. Wakati wako kwa shida. Wakati wako kwa shida. Waje hapa waweka magoti. Na tubu dhambi zao. Waite juu ya Mungu. The name that of the Lord. Jina la Mungu. And the Lord hears the prayer. Na Mungu asikie maombi yao. Na wajibu. Na waondoke. It's not a matter they should be members of this church. Ya kwa si lazima ya kwamba wakuwa washirika wa hili kanisa. Hallelujah. Mm. Praise be the name of the living God. Amen. But because of the rotten world. Kwa sababu ya dunia imeoza ndio maana tunafunga milango. Yes. Even we lock believers outside. Hata tunafungia waumini nje. Of today was leadership. Kichwa cha siku ya leo. Leadership. Ilikuwa uongozi wa kanisa uongozi wa kanisa haleluya church leadership uongozi wa kanisa and that's why i said think, think with me ndio maana nikasema waza pamoja nami think with me waza pamoja nami a leader that you, you greatly admire kiongozi ambaye unamtamani haleluya praise be the name of the living god hmm. A leader that you greatly admire. Kiongozi ambaye unamtamani. What is that you respect about that person? Ni nini unaheshimu juu ya huyo kiongozi? Hallelujah. Mm. Why are you attracted to him or ni, her? Kwa nini unavutiwa kwake ama kwake? Those are the three things I want you to understand. Hayo ndio mambo matatu nilitaka uelewe. Number one, think with me for a moment of a leader that you greatly admire. La kwanza waza pamoja na mimi kiongozi ambaye unamtamani. Number two, what is the what is that you respect about that leader? La pili ni nini hicho ambacho unaheshimu juu ya huyo mchungaji? Kiongozi, huyo mtu. Number two, number three, why are you attracted to him or her? Ni kwa nini unavutiwa na huyo mtu? Praise be the name of the living God. Jina la Bwana litukuzwe. Number one, is it appearance? Ya kwanza ni kwa sura. Number two, is it actions? Ya pili ni matendo. Number two, Is it quality of possession? Ya tatu ni kile ambacho ame amefanikishwa nasio. Ama mali zake. Hallelujah. Are you attracted to that that leader because of his possession? Unapendezwa na huyo kiongozi kwa sababu ya urithi alio nao. Praise be the name of the living God. Jina la Bwana litukuzwe. That's how we 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 had to to understand that Behavior is certainly connected to his character. Ndio maana tukapata ya kwamba mienendo inakuwa sambamba na tabia. And that's how he said character and uh, and and uh, character is number one that uh, makes somebody to be to, to qualify. Ndio maana tukasema ya kwamba tabia ndio ya kwanza umfanya mtu akatikitishwa kuwa kiongozi katika kanisa. Praise be the name of the living God. Jina la Bwana litukuzwe. Praise be the name of the living God. Jina la Bwana litukuzwe. Some people can like you, some people can like you because of your character. Watu wanaweza wakakupenda kwa sababu ya tabia. And some people can hate you because of your character. Na watu wanaweza kukuchukia kwa sababu ya tabia. Praise be the name of the living God. Jina la Bwana litukuzwe. And that's how we talked about I gave an example of Mandela. Ndio maana nikawapa mfano wa Mandela. President Mandela. Mfa, mm, kiongozi he was Mandela. Highly respected because of his character. Alikuwa anaheshimiwa sana kwa sababu ya tabia yake. Two, he was not bitter. La pili tukasema ya kwamba hakuwa na machungu. Number three, he desired he desire his desire for peace instead of conflict. Alitamani kuwa na amani badala ya vita ama msozano. Hallelujah. Or revenge. 
ama hakutaka kulipisha kizazi kiongozi astahili kulipisha kizazi amen and because now i'm a leader and these people were in the church here you know they did this to me they did it to me you start revenging upon them ati sasa mimi ni kiongozi na watu waliopa hapa kanisani walinifanyia hivi na hivi kwa hivyo lazima nilipishe kizazi that is not the rightful that's not the right leader huyo sio kiongozi mkamilifu when you come here you start preaching ama unakuja hapa unaanza kuhubiri. You start preaching uh, somebody David because David offended me. I start preaching. I look for a message to hit him. Ama unakuja hapa unaanza kuhubiri kwa sababu Daudi alinikosea unatafuta ujumbe wa kumgonga. That I look for a message to hit Pastor Chesa. Ama unatafuta ujumbe wa kumgonga Pastor Chesa. Because he did something to me. No. Kwa sababu alinifanyia hivi na vile. I should preach a a, 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 a word of peace. Lazima nihubiri neno la imaamani. To pull him back to me. Ili kumrejesha kwangu. The people who offended us, you know. Hata kale watu ambao walitukosea mnajua. I told you yesterday we should pray. Uliosema ya kwamba tuombe. And they see the doings of God in us. Ili wakaweze kuona matendo ya Mungu ndani yetu. They will come to us. They shall they will come to us. Ili wakaweze kuturejea sisi. Are you understanding? Mnaelewa. Come to us. Waje kwetu. And see what God has done to us. Na waone ni nini Mungu ametufanyia. Until now they come and join us. Mpaka sasa waje watuungane na sisi. Come them with the peace of the Lord. Na tuwawakaribishe kwa amani ya Mungu. That passes the mind of man. Ambayo inapita kuelewa kwa wanadamu. Join us without forcing them. Hatuwezi walazimisha. They'll join us, they'll join us without forcing them. Tutawawatajiungani, watajiunganisha nasi bila sisi kuwalazimisha. We're going to have conflict with them. Hatutakuwa na ugomvi, uongomi na wao. The Lord lifting us on a level. Tutaona wakiona Mungu akituinua kwa viongozi vingine. They despised you. Vile walikuza you should not revenge. Bring in peace. Walete kwa amani. Praise be the name of the living God. May the Lord come down and reveal himself upon you. Wacha Mungu akashuke na akajidirishe ndani ya maisha yako. have done upon you pull them to, towards you. Wacha yale mbao Mungu amekufanyia akawavute kwako. And when they come to you now show them the peace of God. Na watakapokuja kwako sasa waonyeshe amani ya Mungu. So the, the, the peace of God will transform their hearts. Ili ya kwamba amani ya Mungu ikaweza kubadilisha mioyo yao. They are able to make us work ili ya kwamba wakaweze kuwa pamoja nasi. Praise be the name of the living God. Bwana Bwana alitukuzwa. Our prayer may transform their heart and their character. Maombi yetu ikaweza kubadilisha mioyo yao na tabia zao. Because God has anointed us. Maana Mungu ametupaka mavuta. Praise be the name of the living God. Bwana Bwana alitukuzwe. Praise be the name of the living God. Bwana Bwana alitukuzwe. God has anointed us. Mungu ametupa ametutia mafuta. The power of God in you. Una nguvu za Mungu ndani yako. You can ask and go and you receive. Unaweza uliza na ukapokea. Praise be the name of the living God. Bwana Bwana alitukuzwe. There are so many people in the Bible that God transformed. Kuna watu wengi katika Biblia ambao Mungu alibadilisha. Praise be the name of the living God. Bwana Bwana alitukuzwa. Paul was one of them who was called Saul. Paulo alikuwa mmoja wao ambao alikuwa anaitwa Saulo. He was going to Damascus to persecute Christians. Alishokuwa akienda Damascus kuwateza wakristo. The way he met with Jesus Christ. Akiwa njiani akakutana na Kristo. And that's the time he found his transformation. Na hapo ndio wakati alikutana na mabadiliko yake. He was a long killer. Hakuwa muaji tena. He was a preacher of the gospel. Alikuwa mchunga mnenelaji wa injili. And he wrote Satine Biblical books in this Bible. Na akaandika vitabu 10 na vitatu katika Biblia. The ones who are there Matthew and the rest. Hata kama kina Mathayo na wengine. Kina John and the rest they wrote only one scripture. Kikama kina Yohana waliandika tu moja. People like uh, ke, ke, people like Paul wrote 13 uh, epistles in the Bible. Watu kama uh, Paulo waliandika vitabu 10 na vitatu. Corinthians and Corinthians came from Paul. Wa Korinto wa kwanza wa Korinto wa pili ilitoka kwa Paul. Of Paul. Ra, wa Rumi ilitoka kwa Paul. Wa Efeso Paul. Wa Efeso ni ya Paul. Wa Filipi ni change masful 
Mandela was Mandela alikuwa earthly king. Ambaye ni kiongozi wa ulimwengu. We are servants of the most high God. Sisi ni watumishi wa Mungu aliye hai. Sisi ni watumishi Misi katika huduma ya Mungu. Atusatutumikie ulimwengu. Atutumiki taifa moja. Tunatumikia mataifa. Kama watumishi wa Mungu aliye hai. When we go to Pakistan. Wakati tutaenda Pakistan. We shall be respected. Tutaheshimika. When we go to America. Tukienda Marekani. We shall be Tunaheshimika. When we go to Canada. Tukienda Canada. We shall be respected. Tunaheshimika. Kama mtumishi wa Mungu aliye hai. Praise be the living God. Amen. Praise be the name of the living God. Amen. When I went to the to America. Wakati nilienda Marekani. I went to Paris. Wakati nilienda Paris. Nikaenda Marekani. Nikaenda Atlanta. New York. Nikaenda New York. Florida. Nikaenda Florida. Nikaenda Miami. Nikaenda kwa sehemu zozote. Wakati tulikuwa tunafaa kaona kama watumishi wa Mungu. Walking in the airports. Kutembea katika uwanja wa ndege. And the, the people the migration people in those cities. Na watu wale ambao ni wa wamisho. We are bearing the name of the living. Awaku tuuliza maswali bana tumebeba jina la mtu Mungu aliye mbinguni. Passport like this look at you and say oh servant of God. Unapenda passport yako anaangalia wanasema mtumishi wa Mungu. Yeah. They don't even ask you questions. Hawakuulizi hata maswali. They look at you and say man of God. Wanakuangalia wanasema mtumishi wa Mungu. Because I bear the name of the living. Kwa sababu umebeba jina la Mungu aliye hai. Na nimejitolea kwake. Hallelujah. Amen. I go to the next person says no no no. Naenda kwa wapili. Just go man of God. Anasema iwapo amekumalizia endelea. Uh, that uh, you should not pass uh, through the normal uh, uh, entry of Wanasema ya kwamba utapitia mlango wa kawaida. You pass through the VIP. Wanakupitishia kwa mlango wa watu wakubwa. My friend. My friend, mm. my friend you are passing through the VIP. Mm. When I pass through the VIP I say Jesus. Wakati napitia pale nasema Yesu. Wacha sifa na utukufu za kukuje. The presence of the earth pass through. Kwa sababu unapitia pale ma present unapitia. Mm na wakubwa wa mainchi mm. praise be the name of the living god amen. na wewe unapitishiwa pale yes because of who you are serving amen praise be the name of the living god amen praise be the name of the living god amen praise be the name of the living god amen they said you should not be in that big queue well, you are not people to line up on those big queues. i stayed in park uweke mlorongo na wale watu pass through the vip pitia kwa mlango wa watu wakubwa pamoja na mizigo yako Jesus. Unatembea ukijisikia unasema Yesu. Wewe ulinichagua. Mimi ulikanichagua. Kutumikia hapa. Wewe ni mkuu. Wewe ni mkuu. Usaidia yote. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. When we are here at Kenya wezi, I mean Jomo Kenyatta here. Wakati tunashuka pale Jomo Kenyatta with our colors well dressed. Na tumevalia vizuri. They said all these luggages of Bishops and these pastors of God, these are Catholic bishops. I said, oh, 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 oh. I'm not a Catholic bishop. <laughs> <laughs> and they said we cannot we cannot inspect them. Hata tuwezi fanyia uchunguzi. We cannot check. Hatuwezi ziangalia. We cannot check 
hatuwezi hatuwezi angalia mizigo ya watumishi wa Mungu watumishi wa Mungu sikumeni kwa magari yao zilizukumwa hivi sisi tunatembea tu amen hakuna hata mmoja ilifunguliwa hakuna hata mmoja ilipitiwa pale kwa immigration immigration ndio walizukumwa walizukumwa watu wa airport they pulled they pulled and they pushed to our cars i said jesus is good to serve you oh yes is good to serve you yes we fully and whole heartedly yeah umtumikie mungu kwa moyo wako wote you came from nigeria man of god i was in lagos i was in abuja do you know i went without a yellow card i went without a yellow fever card i forgot here in kenya <laughs> When I reach Lagos at the airport they call me man of god they call me man of god mm-hmm. <laughs> they called me man of god yeah. where is your yellow card i said uh, yellow card that i carried with me is the blood of jesus oh yes Hey, but you sound like a man of God. I said yes, I'm a man of God. Oh. Is the yellow card is blood of Jesus. You pass through here, you just go. Just go. Go enter Nigeria, enter. Like us go 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 way way Abuja. Hey, go 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 go. Simple like that. Without the yellow card. If it wasn't like that, they could have taken me somewhere. Yes. To be to be Inject, yes. injected. But I went without the yellow card. Then I, from there again to come to Kenya. They mask you yellow. Uh, Kenya again they ask me yellow card. Have a seat. When I reach the airport here they tell me again, hey, 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 you are from where? I'm from Nigeria, Abuja, wherever, wherever. Uh, your passport is here, it's okay. Where's the yellow card? I said the yellow card is the blood of Jesus. <laughs> I lay hands on the sick and they he get healed. Yes. Do I need the yellow card? Yellow card ndio ya yellow fever. Iwapo nawekea watu mkono wanapona nahitaji. Nilisahau huko. Hey man of God. Wakatazama mtumishi wa Mungu. You lay hands on the sick and they get healed. Yes. Unawekea watu mkono wanapona. Kwa hivyo usihitaji. Niliacha Kenya. Do you know it's not right to come from Nigeria the nations will come enter you the yellow card without yellow card. Unajua istahili utoke nchi zingine hivyo na ukuje. Unajua. Full of the blood of Jesus. Lakini mimi nina wingi wa damu ya Yesu. Yellow card. Yeah. That led to me man of God. Akaniambia mtumishi wa Mungu. Pasa mko. Pita na uende. I said Jesus. Nikasema Yesu. Jesus. Yesu. By calling me. Wewe kwa kunita. Choosing me. Ukanichagua. Appointing me to serve you. Ukaniweka mstani kutumikie. Tell your neighbor is a great privilege. Ni la. Tell your neighbor is a great privilege to serve the living God. Yes. Tell them is a great privilege. Ni jambo kuu la kumtukuza Mungu. Shake their hands and tell them is a privilege to serve God. Mtumnyoshe mkono mwambie ni privilege to serve Jesus. Ni dhamani ya kumtukuza Mungu. Amen. He chose you from all the people na alichagua kutoka kwa watu wote ulimwenguni mtumikie na hakuna aliyekuchagua au kupiga kura alikupea kutoka bibuni akakuchagua Hallelujah. Amen. And he's appointed you. Na akakutia mafuta. Yeye mwenyewe. God the Father Son and the Holy Spirit. Mungu Baba Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu. Na malaika. And the 24 elders. Na viongozi wazee 24. Walienda kule huko. This bukusu has the heart of God. Wakasema huyu mbukusu ana moyo wa Mungu. This man has a character of God. Ana tabia ya Mungu. Why can't I appoint him? Wacha nikamchague. So why can't I choose him and appoint him? Na wacha nikamchague. Kwa bukusu kama asante. Katikati ya bukusu wote acha nikusikie. This mkikuyu Wacha nichukue huyu mkikuyu. Kumkuwa anaitwa Mashaji. Yes. The middle is many. How many men Nigerians are there? So many of them. What is the 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 the, the we call it population? Me millions and you are elected. You are chosen. Yes. You are elected. Ukachaguliwa. Ukachaguliwa. Katikati ya vijana. You gonna serve me. Utumkumike. Wote ulimwenguni. Sio kawaida. My friends. Eh. It's a big privilege. Ni ajambo la ajabu si kawaida. Si kawaida wapenda. Kabisa. Praise be the name of living God. Amen. Even being a deacon in the house of God si kawaida. Hata kuwa msamazi katika nyumba ya kawaida si kawaida. Amen. Being an elder in the church of God is not a kawaida thing. Kuwa mzee katika nyumba ya Mungu sio kawaida. You know why? Unajua kwa nini? You know the heavens 
Unajua mbingu. Mbingu yenyewe. Esteems you. Inakutaminia wewe. The heaven esteems you. Inakutaminia wewe mbingu. Not state house, heaven. Sio state house ama ikulu, mbingu. Mbingu yani, inakutambua. Eh. Yeah. Mungu anakutambua wewe kama mtumishi wake. Amen. Ni kitu rais wewe. Sio rais. Ni kitu ya kawaida? No. Wewe kiongozi ndani ya kanisa mbingu inatambua huyu ni kiongozi. The heavens esteems you. The way, the way Bible says God told I, I told da, Daniel that Daniel you esteemed in heaven. Yes, umetambulika mbinguni Daniel. Daniel. You esteemed in heaven. Unajulikana mbinguni. So to be a in the kingdom of God is not just kawaida. Kwa hivyo kuwa kiongozi katika ufalme wa mbinguni sio kawaida. Heaven knows who you are. Mbingu inajua wewe ni nani. So you must know who you are. Kwa hivyo lazima ujue wewe ni nani. Ask and receive. Uliza na utapokea. Praise be the name of living God. Because sometimes you are not sure of yourself. Wakati mwingine hatujiamini, unaangalia wengine, unaangalia hali, unaangalia hali. And the devil says you are not you are going nowhere, you are born again, you have no you are nothing, you are going nowhere then you say oh I am I'm a failure, I'm not going to succeed. My friend, God cannot choose a failure. Shetani anakuangalia anasema wewe hauendi popote, umeshindwa. Ambiye wewe si mshindwe. Mungu hawezi chagua mtu akushinde. Hawezi chagua mtu ambaye anashindwa. Maana Mungu hajawahi shindwa. Why should you fail? Kwa nini ushindwe? Why should you be defeated? Kwa nini ushindwe? God has never been defeated. Mungu hajawahi shindwa. And you are serving the kingdom that has never been defeated. Na unatumikia ufalme ambao hujawahi shindwa. Are you hearing that? Yes. Are you hearing that? Yes. Serving a kingdom that overcomes all other kingdoms. Kutumikia ufalme ambao imeshinda falme zote. And you are in it. Na uko ndani. We must Lazima tufanikiwe. Lazima tufanikiwe. Praise be the name of living God. Jina la Bwana litukuzwe. Praise be the name of living God. Jina la Bwana litukuzwe. So God looks at the things I told you I'm repeating because of the TV. God looks at character and also looks at at the heart. Mungu anatazama tabia na anatazama moyo. We saw it in the book of 1 Samuel 16 verse 7. Tuliona katika Samueli wa kwanza 16 and 2 Chronicles 16 verse 9. Na mambo ya nyakati 10 ya pili 16 mstari wa 9. The eyes of God are ranging all over the earth. Ya kwamba macho ya Bwana yanakimbia kimbia kote duniani. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me just repeat a bit because of the ones who are not because I'll just go quickly. Hallelujah. Mm. Praise be the name of the living God. Amen. Praise be the name of the living God. I want to hear a big amen. Praise be the name of the living God. Jina la Bwana litukuzwe. The leaders in the kingdom of God you should say a big amen. Nini viongozi katika ufalme wa mbinguni mseme amen kubwa. So I am saying uh, A God looks at character. A kwanza Mungu anatazama tabia. B God looks at character. Ba anatazama tabia. And looks at the heart. Na pia anatazama moyo. A he looks at the character. A anatazama tabia ba anatazama ta moyo haya mambo yanaambatana pamoja tabia na moyo vinaambatana pamoja haleluya that sometimes you look at somebody say hey this man looks like a killer ndio maana unatazama mtu unasema hai huyu anakaa muwaji si kweli yeah because of the way they behave kulingana na chinzi ambavyo anafanya mambo yake you have been watching movies before Tumekuwa tukitazama ma movie wakati mwingine. Like this, hey, this man looks like a killer. Unaangalia mtu oh, unasema ai. Huyu mtu anakaa muwaji na huyu anakaa ndiye ataua watu. And you can see even the, the character of that man in that movie. Na unaona tabia za huyo mtu katika hiyo movie. Hallelujah. Mm. You know this man is a bad man. Unajua ya kwamba huyu mtu ni mtu mbaya sana. Jina la Bwana litukuzwe. Because of the character. Kwa sababu ya tabia. Hallelujah. Amen. And the character also is if it's bad the heart must also be bad. Iwapo tabia ni mbaya pia hata moyo ni mbaya. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of the living God. So in the book of 1 Samuel 16 I repeat again. The book of, book of 1 Samuel 16 verse 7 the Bible says, "But the Lord said to Samuel, do not consider his appearance or his height, for I have rejected him." The Lord does not look at the at the things that, that the things man looks at. Man looks at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. Samueli wa kwanza 16:7 inasema lakini Bwana akamwambia Samueli usimtazame uso wake wala urefu wa kimo chake kwa maana mimi nimemkataa Bwana angalie kama binadamu angaliavyo 
Maana wanadamu itazama sura ya nje bali Bwana utazama moyo. Hallelujah. Amen. God is looking at the heart. Mungu anatazama moyo. Number one, a, he was looking at the character. Ya kwanza alikuwa anatazama sura. looking at the heart. Ya pili anatazama moyo. He searched the heart of man. Akata anachunguza moyo mwanadamu. This heart serve me. Na huyu moyo unanifaa kweli. This heart have an image of me. Huyu moyo unaweza kuwa na sura yangu. This heart do things that I want the, the, to do things like me. Huyu moyo unaweza fanya mambo ambayo nataka ufanye. Hallelujah. Amen. Can this heart do things like me? Huyu moyo unaweza fanya mambo kama mimi. Praise be the name of the living God. Amen. That's why when God told Moses. Ndio maana Mungu akamwambia Musa. Seven to two elders. Achague viongozi 72 wafanye kazi na yeye. Mungu alifanya nini? The spirit that was in, uh, in Moses. Akatoa roho ambayo roho ambayo alikuwa ndani ya Musa. To these other elders. Akawagawania wale so wazee. They able to do other works. Ili ya kwamba kaweza kufanya kazi zingine. Had to them. Wewe ya kwamba kazi takayo kuwa ngumu kwao. They give it to Moses. Wamrejeshe Musa. They can do the other works. Ili wakaweza kufanya kazi zingine. Jina la Bwana litukuzwe. That's how God operates. Hivyo ndivyo Mungu fanya kazi. Heart like his. Anataka moyo kama wake. So be able to do things of God. Ili ya kwamba ukaweza kufanya mambo ya Mungu. Kulingana na mapenzi ya Mungu. Kulingana na makusudi ya Mungu. Sio kwa mpangilio wako. Amen. When you have the heart of God you do the pattern of the kingdom of God. Unapokuwa na moyo wa Mungu. The kingdom of God has a pattern. Mfalme wa Mungu na mpangilio. Be the name of the living God. Amen. It has a pattern. Una mpangilio. And that's how even we start up with saying God the Father Son and the Holy Spirit. Ndio maana tunaposema number 1. Tunasema baba Mungu baba mwana na roho mtakatifu. God the Father Son and the Holy Spirit. Mungu baba mwana na roho mtakatifu. Jina la Bwana litukuzwe. It has all its system pattern. Na ina sehemu zingine zote katika mpangilio wake. Praise be the name of the living God. Jina la Bwana litukuzwe. So God to transform your heart. Uwapo Mungu atabadilisha moyo wako. Na kufanya moyo wako kama wake. Kwa hivyo upa ufuate mpangilio wake. Jina la Bwana litukuzwe. Just follow the pattern. Ufuate mpangilio. Father Son and the Holy Spirit. Mungu wa Baba Mungu Baba Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu. I love the Father but I don't love Jesus. Uwezi sema napenda Mungu Baba na upendi Mwana. Jesus Christ I don't love the Father. Usema napenda Mwana sipendi Mungu. Jesus, I don't love the Holy Spirit. Usema napenda Yesu sipendi Roho. I have the Holy Spirit I don't know I don't know the rest. Usema napenda Roho Mtakatifu na sijui mengine. Utembee katika mpangilio wa Mungu. Somebody I did a deliverance for, for two sometimes many years ago. Kuna mtu nilifanyia ukombozi miaka nipo keti na yeye. I asked him now you Nikamuuliza sasa wewe umekuja hapa? How do you operate in your church? Unafanyaje mambo katika kanisa lako? I operate like this. Akasema nafanya mambo yangu. Jesus life life. Naongea na Yesu hapa na hapa uso kwa uso. Bila roho mtakatifu. Na tujua Najua Yesu Jesus like the way I can call Pastor Chesa. Naita mu Yesu vile naweza ita mchungaji wa Chesa. Just a satanic agent. Nikamwambia wewe ni agent wa shetani. The Holy Spirit. Hapo ujue roho mtakatifu from living God. Tell the devil directly. Watch out to tempt Jesus. Unajaribu Yesu. The Holy Spirit. Umekuja kujaribu roho mtakatifu. Maana Yesu alisema, "Naenda kwa Baba. Nitawaachia msaidizi. Ambaye atawasaidia. Ni mwalimu, ni mfadhili wako. Wakati wa shida ya zote, atakwambia nini kwa Baba Mungu? Atakwambia nini Baba unahitaji? Atakwambia kile unahitaji ufanye. Roho mtakatifu ni msaidizi wako ni kiongozi wako ni mtu wako ni kitu chochote ambacho tunategemea maana biblia inasema wakati wa viongozi walikuwa katika chumba cha juu waitezwe na roho mtakatifu wakaanza kulela katika lugha tofauti wakiongea katika lugha zao waliongea katika lugha tofauti na bwana walichezwa na hizo nguvu kutoka juu roho mtakatifu jina la bwana litukuzwe God is one. Mungu ni mmoja. Lakini yuko katika utatu. Mungu Baba Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu. Uwezi wakawa ni pamoja ni mmoja. Ni mmoja ndio pamoja. Jina la Bwana litukuzwe. They work simultaneously. Wanafanya kazi kwa pamoja. When we pray through the power of the Spirit. Wakati tunapopata kwa Roho Mtakatifu. Tunaingiza Yesu ndani. Tunaingiza Mungu Bwana ndani. Wakati tunapata katika Roho. You engage Jesus. Tunamuingiza Yesu. Yesu Bwana katika nani. Baba anaingia ndani. Hallelujah. Amen. We don't know how to pray. We don't know. Yes. 
Not Jesus. The Spirit will tell us what the Father has for us. This man is telling me I meet Jesus life life. I told is it by Jesus? Is is Jesus, Jesus of Tongeren? <laughs> but to come to the Father you must be led by the Spirit. Are you understanding? Unaelewa. To come to the Father, you must be led by the Spirit. As the Bible says, He is our advocate. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So we cannot silence the Holy Spirit. We are doing things here in this altar. We are the Spirit of God. We are doing the Spirit of God. Then you are doing your, your own things. You are doing 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 your own things. Until you are led by the Spirit, you do things of the Spirit. And the kingdom of God is the kingdom of the Spirit. The kingdom of God is working in the spirit of you. The blessings of God are in the spirit of you. No, 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 to kinyore way. Aya fani ki katika ndi ya kinyore. Or ki 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 maragoli. Things of God. I walked through the Spirit. Mamba ya Mungu yanafanyika katika hali ya kiroho. Now I was teaching one time and telling people all our blessings start in the spiritual realm. Nilikuwa nafundisha nikiwaambia watu ya kwamba baraka zako zote huanza katika ulimwengu wa kiroho. When I was in America to the Americans there. Nilikuwa Marekani kaambia watu. I came to America not to visit. Nimekuja sio kutembea. Rule America. Nimekuja kutawala America. They ask me. I told them I've come to rule America like yesterday. Nimekwambia nimekuja kutawala Marekani kama jana. And they were laughing at me telling me no. Wakacheka wakaniuliza. Mimi ndio kama to rule America. Unamaanisha nini ukisema unakuja kutawala Marekani kama jana? Genesis chapter chapter one verse twenty six and twenty seven. Biblia inatumia katika mwanzo moja ishina saba. Mungu ametupa uwezo kutawala. Chochote katika ulimwengu. Even America is under my authority. Ata America ni kuchini ya mamlaka yangu. As a man of God. Kama mtumishi wa Mungu. Bina nemo dola mungu. Bina rabana ritukuzo. They said, Oh yes, Oh yes. Wakasema mae ndio. The Bible says we rule. Ndio. Mtumishi wa Mungu nasema ukoo. We are going to we are going to rule America like yesterday. Mwana unasema utawala kama jana. I told them the things of God. Kwaambia mambo ya Mungu. Yesterday. Ayans. Today. Yana. Leo na hata milele. Maana Mungu ni jana. Leo na hata milele. God wants to do for you. Mungu anataka kukufanya. Alianza kabla hujajua. Alianza jana. 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 You say they say like yesterday has come. <laughs> when you go to when you go when you go to Florida, when you go to uh, Brazil, I mean I, I was in Brazil, uko, I was in Brazil. Uko, when I go to, to they'll tell you like yesterday has arrived. Watamwona kuambia ya kwamba kama jana amefika. The ruler has arrived in Georgia Atlanta. Mtawala amefika. Go to Jamaica, Barbados, those islands they know like yesterday. Mm. Wanajua kama wanamjua kama jana. Mimi a ruler. Mm. Wanamuita mtawala. Like mtawala kama jana. Yes. To take over this nation. Kwa sababu ameenda kutukuteka nyana. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You should be proud because you bear the name of the Lord. Lazima ufurahie kwa sababu umebeba jina la Mungu. And you are now chosen. Na sasa umechaguliwa. And appointed. Na umeotiwa mafuta. By above kingdom. Na ufalme wa juu. After removing Saul, he made David the, the king. He testified concerning him. I found David son of Jesse, a man after my own heart. He will do everything I want him to do. That's the thing I want you to understand. 
He will do everything I want him to do. Amen. He didn't say he will do everything I want him to do of his own. He said he will do everything I want him to do. What God wants you to do. Kila mbacho Mungu anakupofanya. Hicho kufanya. Praise be the name of the living God. Not Amen. doing your own thing. Usifanye mambo yako mwenyewe. If you bear the heart of God. Uwapo una una moyo wa Mungu. Of Christ. Na tabia you do what Christ did. Utafanya yale ambayo Kristo alifanya. Christ alifanya. promises very well. I think in the book of in the scripture in the book of John. Na akatoa hivi wana that I'm going but I'll uh, but uh, but I'll leave you and you'll do greater things than I did. Ya kwamba ninaenda lakini na wacha. Have you seen any greater thing that the Lord uh, that we have done beyond Christ what Christ did? Mm -mm. Have we done anything? Tumefanya chochote kuliko kile ambacho Kristo alifanya. Bila <laughs> licha ya kuuza maji. <laughs> I'm telling you we are behind. Sisi tuko nyuma sana. God should help us. Mungu atusaidie. Bible says Bible inasema He testified Akashuhudia God testified Akashuhudia He testified Akashuhudia The Lord testified something about you Wacha Mungu akashuhudia jambo la kuuza The living God Na Bwana alitukua The Lord testified something about you Wacha Mungu akashuhudia kitu la kuuza Before I know in the Bible to people Na kuna watu ambao wanajua wawili David God testified about him God testified, God testified about Job. Why can't God also testify about you and me? That I found somebody who is serving me in Kenya, a man after my own heart, a man who is serving me wholeheartedly and dedicatedly serving, serving me and preaching my two crossbow. Why can't God testify about you as a leader in the church? kanisani. Mungu alishuhudia juu ya Daudi. Yeah. Akasema nimepata mtu mwenye moyo kama wangu. Mm. Na ni nani mtu Mungu ameshashuhudia juu yake hapa duniani? Mm. Where? And he says very clearly read this scripture very well. Akasema vizuri. He says He says very clearly. The son of Jesse. A man after my own heart. Daudi mwana wa Yesu. Mtu anayependa moyo wangu. Awe he will do atafanya everything mapenzi yangu yote pastor chesa he will do everything atafanya mapenzi yangu yote we do things that god does not want us to do tunafanya mambo ambayo mungu anataka tusiyafanye hata hapa katika nyumba ya mungu can we be like king david tuwe kama mfalme wa daudi I know he has his own he had his own failures I'll teach. Tunajua ya kwamba alikuwa na mambo yake ambayo alikuwa na mwanamke. Lakini alijua chizi ya kunyenyekea na kurudi mbele za Mungu. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. He will do what I want him to do. That's what I want you to know. Kilicho ndicho. Kama kiongozi katika nyumba ya Mungu. Must do. Lazima ufanye. Everything. Kila kitu that God commands you to do. Ambacho Mungu anakuamrisha ufanye. Ufanye. Things. Mambo. Please God. Ambayo atampendeza Mungu. Are you understanding? Mnaelewa? Are you understanding? Mnaelewa? God didn't testify to somebody who is so disobedient. Mungu hakushuhudia mtu ambaye hakuwa mtiifu. Somebody disobedient. Mtu ambaye si mtiifu. He testified upon him who will do what God wants him to do. Alishuhudia yule ambaye atafanya kile alitaka afanye. So a leader in the church kiongozi kanisani must do what god wants you to do afanye kile ambacho mungu anataka afanye follow this scripture ufuate ili andiko do what is written this na ufuate kile ambacho kinaandikwa usiongeze mambo yako praise be the name of the living god amen you do what god wants you to do ufanye kile ambacho mungu anataka ufanye god wants us to do ufanye kile mungu anataka tufanye in this black book katika hii you should do what is written in this black book ufanye kile ambacho kimeandikwa katika kitabu cha history usikuje na historia yetu geography na As a, as a leader in the church you come with your own geographies you tell people geography and God has, has no geography God <laughs> talks rightly directly and speaks directly and direct word that will heal you restore you rebuild you mold you bring you back to him if you are lost he'll bring we will bring you back to you Amen. bring we will call you to come back to him usilete geography yako hapa kama kiongozi yes don't bring your geography and sciences and physics and whatever eh. here praise be the name of the living god amen We don't need chemistry in the altars. The chemistry we need is this word of God. When God was testifying about David that he will do what I want him to do because David was doing this. That's why he wrote 150 Psalms. 
ndio ma, maana akasema ya kwamba alisudia juu ya Daudi maana alifanya kile ambacho alitaka ndio akaandika moja na msini msaburi vitabu za saburi vitabu za saburi moja na msini sometimes we pretend we are writing books sometimes we pretend we are writing books wakati mwingine tunaweza sema tunaandika vitabu sometimes we pretend wakati mwingine tunajifanya we are writing christian books tunaandika vitabu vya wakristo and we are writing our own stories na tunaandika hadithi zetu wenyewe if you want to write a christian book wapo unataka kuandika hadithi ya kitabu cha wakristo fuata huu mtu follow this map fuata hii ramani fuata this map fuata hii ramani The word of God is a map. Neno la Mungu ni ramani. It will tell you go like this, go like this, go like this and then the spirit of God will expound and open it for you. Itakwambia enda hivi, enda hivi na roho wa Mungu atakufunulia. Don't write books and talk, talk your own stories. Usiandike vitabu na ukaandika hadithi yako mwenyewe. Write up, up, about this map. Andika juu ya hii ramani. This history that was written here my brothers. Historia hii ambayo iliandikwa wapendwa. Some of God you should expound on this. Hii ambayo utastahili upanuliwe saidi. In this book keti katika ikitabu God will help you. Roho wa Mungu atakusaidia. To expound to you. Kukupanulia. To release latest revelation. Kukufunulia ufunuo mpya. God's people. Ambao utasaidia watu wa Mungu. God does not fade. Maana hiki kitabu hakifuti. Ili neno halifutiki. Fade and go. Magazeti yatafutika na yataisha. This one does not fade. Lakini ili neno haliwezekana. God banned. Ni kuna nyumba ambayo ilichomeka. But everything this portion got burned. Ise mwio wote ikachomeka. The word of God remained intact. Lakini neno la Mungu likabakia pale pale. Don't be burned by the fire of the earth. Neno la Mungu haliwezi chomwa na moto wa ulimwengu. Jina la Bwana litukuzwe. Maana ni neno lilio hai. Nina uzima. Everything the cover can burn. Kichochote hichoicho kinaweza chomeka. Lakini jina neno linabaki. Jina la Bwana litukuzwe. Praise be the name of the living God. Jina la Bwana litukuzwe. There is power in this word. Kwa hivyo kuna nguvu katika hii hali. Iwapo unaniombea na utumii neno usiniombe. Hiyo ni adibu unaniambia. Ati papa katika jina la Yesu. Ninaombea huyu mtumishi. Atajirike sana. So what? You are praying for me to be so rich. So bring a scripture that will drive that riches to be come, to come to me. Ya kwamba maombi yetu yambatane na maandiko. Yes. Speak a word. Nena neno. You command those riches to come down. Hivi ya kwamba liamlishe huo utajiri ushuke chini. I rebuke this spirit. Usemi na kemea hii pepo. I rebuke this spirit. Na kemea hii pepo. In the book of Mark 16. Katika kitabu cha Matendo 16. Hiyo inasema In the book of Mark 16. Katika kitabu cha name kwa jina lako nitakomea uzuri. Kwa hivyo na katika jina la Yesu. Let the word of God. Ambia na roho roho. Tell the word. Uliambia ndio na your stories. Usiambia adibu. Kwa wewe kwa wewe go go away. You have been this woman for a long time. Kwa mama kwa muda mrefu. Go away for what? Use the word. Tumia neno. 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 And the devil will dread. Na mapepo yatotoroka na yatapotea. Because they are afraid of the word and the name and the blood of Jesus Christ Ma, and the fire of the Holy Spirit. Maana yanaogopa damu ya Yesu na jina la Yesu. Praise be the name of the living God. Amen. That's, how, so that's why sometimes the people they rebuke and demons they go back. You rebuke because you rebuke to kasa. Ndio maana unakemea yanarudi. Away go away go away go away. The devil says go away why? Ndio anakuuliza niende kwa nini? Go away why? Wa kwa nini? But you use the word. Lakini ukitumia neno. The pack and leaf. Yanabeba mizigo ya kionoko. Katika jina la Yesu. Jesus name. Katika jina la Yesu. Mighty name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. In the mighty name of Katika Jesus. Katika jina kuu la Yesu. Are you understanding? Naelewa. I want to teach you something about King David. Nataka ukufundisheni jambo kuhusu mfalme Daudi. So David had great success. Hata kama alikuwa na mafanikio sana. In leadership and also katika uongozi na mengine. Greatly in several areas of life. Mara nyingi alianguka katika maisha. So he was success, successful in leadership. Hata kama alifanikiwa katika uongozi. But he also failed greatly. Kuna mali alianguka saidi. In other areas of life. Katika sehemu zingine za maisha. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Are you understanding? Naelewa. But the thing David had so he failed greatly in the other areas of life. Hata kama alianguka sehemu nyingi za kimaisha. 
His heart Moyo wake was rightful ulikuwa mkamilifu with God na Mungu His heart Moyo wake was rightful ulikuwa mkamilifu with God na Mungu You know what David did Unajua Daudi alifanya nini What did he do He killed The church What did he do Aliua He was a bank robber He took Uria's wife and he killed Uria and he killed Uria mm-hmm. How, how many sins are those? Yes. So he, he counted in Israel. Again uh, it's the will of God. Again the will of God. Mm. And the other one the the great ones killing. Number two, fornication. Mm. Like that pastor ordained he took Zeda's wife and he disappeared with the wife and the children. Hallelujah. <laughs> Jambo tu. But the only thing that saved David his heart was for God. Kitu tu kilimuokoa Daudi ya kwamba moyo wake ulikuwa kama wa Mungu. Hallelujah. Amen. His heart was rightful before God. Moyo wake ulielekezwa mbele kwa Mungu. Are you understanding? Kikamilifu. Are you understanding? Mm. His character was solid. <laughs> Tabia yake ilikuwa His character. Tabia. So he did those things. Hata kama alifanya mambo yote. Change his character. Hakubadilisha tabia yake. He remained with a solid character. Alibaki na tabia mbaya. Please God. Na akampendeza Mungu. Hallelujah. Mm. And his heart still remained loving God. Na moyo wake bado ukaendelea kumpenda na Mungu. Na ndio maana aliandika vitabu vya Zaburi 150. The books of Psalms you no. see you see David saying na ukisoma hivyo vitabu utamuona mahali akisema Naweza ona dhambi zangu mbele yangu. I can see my sins before me. Naona dhambi zangu mbele yangu. I can see my sins before me. Naona dhambi zangu mbele yangu. I can see that I killed I killed Uria. Naona niliua Uria. And I took his wife. Na nikachukua mke wake. I can see my sins. Naweza ona dhambi zangu. God forgive me my sins. Mungu wangu nisamehe dhambi zangu. People do things and they say ah hiyo Mungu Mungu ana Mungu anajua tu. Ni wangapi wanafanya na nasema Mungu anaona tena. Hapo sasa Mungu anajua. Wanafanya dhambi na wanasema anajua. You should, should be killing or fornication. As, you can even lie somebody. Hata kudanganya. God God knows that we have to lie. Anajua ya kwamba lazima kudanganya. You have to lie. Ni aje Mungu atajua ya kwamba lazima udanganye. Who, 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 who is a friend of mine. Kuna rafiki yangu mwingine. to know if I'm a straight forward person. Alitaka kujua kama mimi mtu wa kweli. did for me. Jaribio tu dogo sana. We were walking in I was walking in one of these streets in down in the street here in town. Nilikuwa natembea huko mjini. Then I was just walking like this. Nilikuwa natembea hivi. With my phone. Na simu yangu. Then I had my phone calling. Nikasikia simu yangu inaitana. Then I picked my phone. Nikapokea simu hiyo. Then this person calls me and tell me, "Hey, apostle, mtu akanita akaniuliza mtume uko wapi?" Where are you, apostle? Uko wapi mtume? I told him I'm just around here Kenyatta Avenue. Nikamwambia niko hapa karibu Kenyatta Avenue. I'm standing around this bank of Africa. Nasimama karibu na hii bangi of Africa. Then he told me, "Yes, pastor." Akaniambia, "Ukweli nakuona." Man of God, I can see your head i can see your back i can see you akasema nakuona mbele na kuona nyuma i'm in nairobi na kama ningemwambia niko nairobi na naniona mimi natembea hapa river road namwambia i'm in nairobi you know i'm in nairobi na meeting just give me a minute i'm in a meeting na namdanganya niko nairobi na anashamuona kila kitu ingekuwa aje so 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 that things kuna mambo they may be so small yanaweza kuwa madogo sana they can make us come out of you know our characters be you know Look, look not good characters. Yanaweza sababisha tabia yetu isionekane kuwa nzuri. Hallelujah. Mm. There's another person. Kuna mtu mwingine. Kuna matatu. Alikuwa katika matatu. See these people who put on this mukorino, you know they put this kitamba. They call it what? Taban. So he was in the matatu. Mm. Alikuwa kwenye matatu. Passing through get us going to. Na nilikuwa na this side of Lanet. Nilikuwa naelekea kule Lanet. Call him, he picked the phone. Mtu akanita hey, nikachukua. Kuna where are you? He said I'm in the house with my children <laughs> watching the TV. Akapigiwa simu akasema uko wapi? Niko kwa nyumba na watoto wangu na naangalia my children and we are we are, um, we are just in the house. Tuko kwa nyumba tu. In the, in the, in the, in the, my home matatu you know the 14 people. 
Watu wako kwa watatu wote. Even Mokorina you do lie. Hata wakauliza hata Mokorina anadanganya. Mbona usitoe hiyo kitambana utupe? Are you in the Uko pamoja na watoto wako. Matatu wa TV. May God help us as God's leaders. Wacha Mungu atusaidie kama viongozi. Sin is sin. Doesn't mean that big sin or small sin. Dhambi ni dhambi haijalishi kubwa ama ndogo. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. May God help us as leaders. Amen. Wacha Mungu atusaidie viongozi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And he said clearly. Na akasema wasiwasi. Not him clearly you should not say, we could have said I'm in my tattoo. Akambiwa ungesema uko katika matatu hakuna mwenyange kupiga hakuna mwenyange kupiga they will understand you in matatu going home wataelewa uko katika matatu kielekea nyumbani hallelujah praise be the name of the living god so david daudi he greatly failed alianguka sana so he was successful in leadership lakini alifanikiwa katika uongozi lakini mara nyingi alianguka amen but the good thing lakini jambo la muhimu b he says the bible says biblia says was right with before god moyo wake ulikuwa sawa mbele za mungu since he's ready to repent iwapo atafanya dhambi alikuwa tayari kutubu if he feels good he is ready to accept alianguka na wako tayari kukubali bible says he used even to go down lie down on the floor na biblia inasema mara nyingi hata alilala kwenye sakafu wake ulikuwa sawa na Mungu. Character was solid. Tabia yake ilikuwa nzuri. He knew how to repent. Alijua jinsi ya kutubu. Na kunyenyekea kunyenyekea mbele za Mungu. Alijua jinsi ya kutubu. Na kunyenyekea mbele za Mungu. God I'm here today. Eh Mungu niko hapa siku ya leo. Niko chini ya miguu yangu. Nalala chini ya miguu yako. Naweza ona dhambi zangu mbele zako. Nitoe katika hizi dhambi. Nimekukosea sana. Nimekuangusha sana. Humble myself. Na nyenyekea Mungu wangu. Nikwapo kupungua ukosefu wote. Maana nimekuangusha. Analala kwenye sakafu. Na anaria. Usiku na mchana akiambia Mungu shambani. Mara ngapi tunafanya hivyo? Kama viongozi katika kanisa. We brush out sins and forget for yesterday. Tunafanya na tunasahau mambo ya jana na tunaendelea. God is after your heart. Mungu yuko anataka moyo wako. Before God like what? Wapo utaachilia moyo wako mbele za Mungu kama mali. Mungu atasikia maombi yako. You feel him he'll re- still restore you back. Hata kama umemkosea atakuja. Kama kiongozi kanisa. Kila na Bwana alitukuzwa. He'll call you back and he'll restore you back. Atakuita na atakuorodhesha. So learn how to be humble before God. Ujifunze jinsi ya kunyenyekea mbele za Mungu. Akutubu mbele za Mungu. Knew how to repent. Daudi alijua jinsi ya kutubu. How to humble himself before God. Akajua jinsi ya kunyenyekea mbele akasema ni hapa niko you go and read the book of psalms the whole psalms usame saburi yote used to mean to miss himself before god jinsi ambavyo daudi alikuwa anaangalia mbele za mungu na alikuwa na kuangalia you search my heart hebu chunguza moyo wangu mungu chunguza moyo wangu praise be the name of living god amen how many times have you told god to search your heart ni mara ngapi unajua mungu akuchunguze kama kiongozi nyumbani mwa bwana how many times have you told god to search my heart ni mara ngapi umemwambia nichunguze moyo wangu search my heart mungu chunguza moyo wangu the lord search my heart nilikukosea chunguza moyo wangu. Praise be the name of the living God. Ila na Bwana alitukuzwa. Of God knew the secret. Huyu mtu wa Mungu alijua siri. Alijua jinsi ya kutubu na kunyenyekea mbele za Mungu. Praise be the name of the living God. Ila na Bwana alitukuzwa. Praise be the name of the living God. Ila na Bwana alitukuzwa. So today I'm teaching you things that you should do. Leo naufundisheni mambo ambayo mnastahili kufanya. Na kuwa wasi wa sawa mbele za Mungu. Serve him wholeheartedly. Na kumtumikia kwa moyo wako. Na kumjipenda mbele zake. Give yourself to God. Na saidi ujitoe mbele zake. Praise be the name of the living God. Bwana alitukuzwa. The time God will say I found a man in Nakuru after my own heart. Na huo ndio wakati Mungu atasema nimepata mtu Nakuru mwenye moyo kama wangu. My own heart. Bungama mkono mimi. My own heart. In Kitale kama moyo kama wangu. In 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 the captain boy man after my own heart. Captain boy kama wangu. Maana ambapo namtumikia Mungu. He'll have a testimony about. Atakuwa na ushuhuda juu yako. Praise be the name of the living. Ina na Bwana alitukuzwa. Because we humble before him. Maana tunanyenyekea mbele zake. You can even come with your good suit. Wakati mwingine unaweza kuja umevalia mavazi mazuri na ulale hapa. Forget about you take it to the laundry. Utaipeleka kufuliwa. Uh, this floor, I don't know this floor. Come and lie here wherever you can lie. Njoo ulale hapa mahali popote utalala. Never used to lie on carpets. Daudi hakuwa analala kwenye. Never used to lie on carpets. I mean, on these tiles. Alikuwa analala pale chini. He used to lie those days in the bush and then tells God I can see my sins. Alikuwa analala mstuni anaambia Mungu naona dhambi zangu. Na Mungu akasikia maombi yake. There's a time I was having a pastor in my church. Nilikuwa kuna wakati nilikuwa na mchungaji katika kanisa langu. Miaka iliyopita. Then I said now and the church we were in it was not like this. Na kanisa ambayo tulikuwa ilikuwa mchanga tu. It was 
Muchanga, you know. Flow ya dust. Flow dust. So we pour water like this and we sweep. You know, humble beginning. Tunamwaga maji na tunaendelea. So this man comes with a very good suit and his wife. alikuwa anakuja na suti yake nzuri. Nigerian dress. Na mke wake anakuja na zile nguo za Nigeria mpaka vitambaa. Awada, this one. <laughs> he comes. Anakuja. Very good suit. Na mke anakuja na nguo mume anakuja na nguo nzuri. And the spirit told me that tell everyone to lie down on the floor. Nikahubiri na roho Mungu akaniambia ambia kila mmoja arare kwenye sakafu. Now whoever they want I shall give. Na waulize chochote ambacho wanataka nami tawafanye. Let them pray for me. Wacha walie mbele zangu. And then I'll hear their prayer. Na mimi nitasikia maombi yao. And answer their prayers. Na nitajibu maombi yao. And everybody is accepted. Na kila mmoja akakubali. This man in this man. This man in the church. Katika kanisa and uh, and because he was so well dressed kwa sababu alikuwa amejivalia vizuri he was sitting like this alikuwa amekaa hivyo god said now lie down on the floor and ask me whatsoever you want i'll do it wakati mungu alisema lala chini kwa sakafu ulize chochote kila mmoja kwa kanisa hata haijalishi uko katika kiwango gani you have dressed licha ya zile nguo ambazo umefanya mtu akaanza hivyo now this lying on the floor lying on the floor Then I said the spirit of God said lying on the floor. Roho Mungu anasema lala sakafuni. He moved on that step kidogo. Akasonga tena. Please father, I'm asking you to give me what I want. I told you that's on the style. And the wife did the same. Na mke akafanya. All of them the church were lala chini. Kanisa lote likala. And we shall let me teach you what God hates. Watch watch wao watu wa huyo yeye na mke wake walikataa lakini watu wengine wote wakalala chini. So you know what happened? Unajua nini kilifanyika? Then then I prayed and finished people stood up. What nikaomba nikamaliza watu wakasimama. Then The devil is a liar. Let's go to the book of uh, Proverbs 22 verses 1. As we move on because of our time. Amen. Proverbs 22 verses 1. Midhali 22. Let's learn, learn how to repent. Tujifunze jinsi ya kutubu na kunyenyekea mbele za Mungu. Kila dhambi Mungu wako tayari kutusamea. Eh sana sana sisi ambao ni viongozi wa Mungu na watoto wa Mungu. The Bible says Biblia inasema Midhali 22. I want to say A we are talking about character. Tulikuwa tunaongea kwanza tabia. We are talking about the heart. Ba tunaongea juu ya moyo. What followers what followers look for in a character? Cha ni kile ambacho wafuasi wanaangalia katika tabia. Number C. Cha. Can you group them? A. Character. B. God looks at the heart. A. God looks at character. C. Followers look for the character of a leader. A ni tabia. B ni followers look for ani tabia character leaders ba ni moyo cha wafuasi waangalia tabia yeah they look followers. at the character of a leader wanaangalia wafuasi wanaangalia tabia ya kiongozi you know we don't, we don't, we don't let me tell you all leaders in the church ninyi wote ni viongozi katika kanisa na ninyi unawatungaje some of you are pastors some of you are deacons do you know when we are standing here unajua wakati tunasimama hapa do you know brethren who are there they are looking at how we, we are our character is unajua viongo wa you know we, we learned in the bible school eh wafuasi ambao wako pale wanakutazama we might be having the gifts of this element unaweza kuwa na roho ya kuona We, are, we must be having the gift of this ornament mm. but god unaweza kuwa na roho upumbuzi upumbuzi lakini mungu this gifts to people differently mungu anapeana hii kikipawa kwa watu tofauti to me and give he'll give it to another brethren who anaweza nipa na kumpa mpendwa mwingine you know that unajua hivyo he'll give to members of the church gifts of this ornament atawapa hata waumini hicho kipawa the gifts are not limited to men of god only haijawekewa kiwango kwa watumishi wa Mungu peke yao kila mmoja anayekubaliana na roho Mungu anapata hizo sawa wako pale tu wanajifunza tabia ya kiongozi wao 
kuna mtumishi wa Mungu wakati alikuwa na sifu niliona huyu mtumishi alikuwa anatufanya turuke ruke na kuruka ruka na kuimba wakati anasema twimbe na mimi ninacheza na cheza nafuata maagizo lakini huyu wapendo walikuwa anacheza na kwa sababu ya kibili chake yeye alikuwa amesimama kufanya hivi Hivyo ndivyo kumchezea Mungu sasa. Hivyo ndio mtumishi wa Mungu mwana fanya. Na wapendo wanaruka. Wanachezea Mungu. Biblia inasema Daudi akachezea Mungu. Mpaka nguo zote zikanguka chini. Na alikuwa anachezea Mungu anacheza. Yeye yeah, amefanya mgu mmoja hivi. akiangalia watu <laughs> like a traffic police <laughs> hallelujah amen so how will your brethren follow wafuasi wako watafuata nini number one, they look at this our pastor is full of pride ya kwanza watasema ya kwamba mchungaji huyu wetu ana kiburi amejawa na kiburi tunacheza lakini yeye hata atingiziki what character what character is this hii ni tabia gani hallelujah amen You cannot give instructions to march and you're not marching. Uwezi peana mashauri ya kwamba tufuate na uwezi ufanyi. You give instructions that you also do. Ufanye maagizo ambayo unafanya. God was giving a testimony about King David. Ndio maana Mungu akapeana ushuhuda juu ya Daudi. He shall do what I'll tell him to do. Ya kwamba atafanya kile ambacho nitamwagiza afanye. He shall do what I want him to do. Na atafanya kile ambacho anataka afanye. So I must follow how my pastor is doing. Kwa hivyo lazima nifuate mfungaji wangu anafanya nini. Pastor is dancing. Pastor is dancing. Nikisema ruka na kudansa. Hata yeye lazima mchezee Mungu. Praise be the name of the living God. Jina la Bwana litukuzwe. Praise be the name of the living God. Jina la Bwana litukuzwe. Praise be the name of the living God. Jina la Bwana litukuzwe. Stand doing like this. Ni wapo utasimama uanze kufanya hivi. If you stand doing like this. Akianza kufanya hivi. Even me I'll stand doing like Ata this. Hata mimi nitaanza kufanya hivi. Amen. Dance for the Lord. Chezea Mungu. Dance for the Lord. Chezea Mungu. Was not doing like this. Was doing like this. Hata yuko na chezea Mungu. Mungu tu ndio ilikuwa inatimiza. Na anaangalia watu wanafanya nini? Na ni mkutano wa hadhara kule nje. Wale watu wote wako pale nje wanafikiria nini kukuhusu? Wacha Mungu atusaidie. Give my thank clap the Lord Jesus. Pigia Yesu makofi mazuri. Proverbs 22 verse 1 quickly. Sabidari 22:1 inasema The Bible says a good name is more desirable than great riches. Heri kuchagua jina jema kuliko mali nyingi. To be esteemed is better than silver and gold. Na neema kuliko fedha na dhahabu. Praise be the name of the living God. Amen. So God looks at uh, I mean brethren or followers look at the character of Name. the leaders. Wafuasi wa huangalia tabia ya kiongozi. And that's why now the 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 the, the As Solomon was teaching about this. Na ndio maana Sulemani alikuwa anafundisha juu ya. Ya more desirable than get riches. Ya kwamba jina jema ni heri kuliko mali nyingi. You can have all riches but you have a bad name. Unaweza kuwa na mali tele lakini jina lako ni mbaya. And you are a leader in the kingdom of God. Na wewe ni kiongozi katika ufalme wa Mungu. Praise be the name of the living God. Jina la Bwana litukuzwe. So that's why the quality of a leader ndio maana tabia ya you should have a good name ukuwa na jina njema which is better than all the richest people think about ambao ni zaidi ya mali yote and if you have a good name na iwapo utakuwa na jina njema god will not fail making you rich mungu hata kosa kukufanya utajiri because your name only glorifies him maana jina lako peke yake makes the kingdom of god be received receive glory and receive honor jina lako tu litafanya ufalme wa mbinguni upokee utukufu na heshima itself Ufalme peke yake. Must come down because you are pleasing the kingdom. Utaku... The kingdom must come down and see that you are living well. Ufalme utakuja chini uone ya kwamba unaishi vyema. The kingdom receive glory because of your good name. Maana ufalme unapokea utukufu kutoka kwa jina lako. The Lord is good to you. Maana jina la Mungu ni mzuri kwako. Because your name is good. good. The kingdom of God receive glory and honor from you. Iwapo na jina lako ni nzuri ufalme wa Mungu unapokea utukufu kutoka kwa Mungu. This man is a very good man his name is very good. If you go somewhere else, do you know Pastor Alex? Oh man, I'm telling you, oh my God. Pastor Alex that was a true man of God. He's he's he he's good man, he's a good man, good heart, good everything. 
Watasema ya kwamba mchungaji yale ni mzuri jina nzuri. That is being given about you they say surely they are good men in this Kenya. Hakika watasema hata wale wanaosikia ushuhuda watasema kuna watu wema katika Kenya hii. Amen. Praise be the name of the living God. Jina la Bwana So good name is better than all riches. Kwa hivyo jina njema ni heri kuliko mali nyingi. And you cannot be rich. Na ninamaanisha kwamba utakuwa na jina rich and have a good name. Utakuwa tajina ukiwa na neno nzuri. You can be rich and your characters are good. Utakuwa na utajina na rich and your characters are good. Mungu atakufanya tajina na neno lako kwa rich and your heart is good. Your heart is a heart of God. Mungu atakufanya tajiri na moyo wako ni moyo wa Mungu. You can be rich God will make you rich and you are you are there to humble before him. Anaweza kukufanya tajiri na ukuwa mkubwa kwa Mungu. All the riches came from him. Maana utajiri wako so ulikuwa kwake. I have to humble myself before the giver who gave me. Maana naweza kunyenyekea kupitia kwa yule ambaye alinipa. You have seen somewhere you repent because you know the one who called you needs you to be clean and acceptable before him. Iwapo iwapo umefanya dhambi utatubu maana unajua yule aliyekuita ni mtakatifu. Hata simama na wenye kiburi. Praise be the name of living God. Jina la Bwana litukuzwe. Humble yourself. Amen. So I'm not saying that you should be poor. Sisemi ya kwamba uwe maskini. Praise be the name of the living God. Jina la Bwana litukuzwe. Praise be the name of the living God. Jina la Bwana litukuzwe. You should be rich. Ukuwe tajiri. And still remain in Christ. Lakini bado ubaki katika Kristo. Praise him whole heartedly. Na uendelee kumtumikia kwa moyo wako. Na moyo wako. You be fully committed to him. Ujiode utitolee kabisa mbele za Mungu. Praise be the name of the living God. And your character remains solid. Na tabia yako ibaki. No more can twist your character. Hakuna atakaye badilisha tabia yako. Your character remains solid. Tabia yako ibaki imara. God I should be should be like this. You should be like this. Your character is solid. Tabia yako ibaki imara. Praise be the name of the living God. I'm telling in the church my character should be remain solid. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Because so many people, let me tell you today. Maana watu wengi they we come to God because maybe we have been brought up in a family that's low, poor family whatsoever, and that's why God wants to start with you. Tunakuja kwa Mungu pengine tulianzia chini familia. Go to America many years ago. Mm. That I go and work in America to wash all the women, mm. to wash the veterans there. Mm. Wash them and clean them. You hear? Mm. All men. Mm. Hallelujah. Alikuwa anapanga kwenda kuosha watu wazee. I wanted to do any work. Aende alikuwa anataka aenda kufanya kazi yake. Hata kuuza kwa maduka kuu. Mungu akamwambia usiende. You will go there when I blessed you. Utaenda mahali pale wakati nimekubariki. And again I God. Na pia mimi Mungu. Put your riches. Staki utajiri wako. Your efforts. Staki utumie uwezo wako. I God. Mimi Mungu. I'll start with you from the dust. Nitaanzia kwa mavumbi. Lift you higher. Na nitakuinua juu. I bless you. Na nitakubariki. So the blessings you build for me and my altars. Kwa hivyo baraka ambazo utakuwa utapokea katika in my ministry. Ambazo utapokea katika huduma yangu. Ni baraka ambazo utakupea. Gotten them from America. Si ya kwamba utakuwa umezipata kutoka Marekani. You want there sweep and sweep and then get money come and build for me. Atuenda ufagie na ukuto mtenge. I'll start with my people from the dust. Mimi Mungu naanza na watu wangu kutoka chini. back to the dust. Nitakurudisha kwenye mavumbi. Na nitaanza na wewe. Praise be the name of living God. Bwana litukuzwe. So you not exalt yourself. Ili ya kwamba usikajinue. You will say everything that I'm saying today is came from the Lord. Chochote ambacho nafanya leo ni nani? Now this is God. Hata igari ambayo naendesha ni Mungu. Now it is God. Hata jumba na jenga ni Mungu. Now it is God. Kila kitu nafanya ni Mungu. My bank it is because of God. Pesa zilizo katika benki yangu ni za Mungu. I just see God. The house I'm living in it is because of God. Jumba naishi ni kwa ajili ya Mungu si kwa nguvu zangu. I was in Canada. I made a lot of money in Canada. Then I come and build a big house like this one. Then you think it is your effort. You said I don't need your effort. I'll start with you from the dust. So God will start from you with you from the humble beginning to make you somebody of value. Mungu anaanza na wewe kutoka chini akikupeleka mahali. Jina la Bwana litukuzwe. Ili ya kwamba ukawe na ushuhuda. And also he will also have a testimony about you. Ili ya kwamba hata yakawe na ushuhuda juu yako. Jina la Bwana litukuzwe. Jina la Bwana litukuzwe. Let reach you because he wants your testament to glorify him. Mungu atakupa utajiri wa all the riches. Ili ya kwamba utajiri wote came from him umetoka kwake because even david was rich hata daudi alikuwa tajiri praise be the name of living god he was rich he was alikuwa tajiri alikuwa mfalme praise be the name of living god mm. but the heart lakini moyo fully to god ulikuwa umejitoa kwa Mungu tabia ilimpendeza Mungu hata kama alianguka alijua jinsi ya kutubu hata kama alianguka alijua jinsi ya kuangua na kunyenyekea mbele za Mungu na ikampendeza Mungu ndio maana Mungu akasema nimempata mtu na moyo wangu anajua kunyenyekea 
ambaye si mwenye machungu ambaye anajua kusamea I have transformed that heart ambaye nimebadilisha moyo wake who is living like me ambaye anaishi kama mimi I speak to and he do what I want him ambaye namnenea na anafanya kile ambacho anataka afanye jina la bwana litukuzwe that is why god will enrich you but you remain the same ndio maana mungu atakupea utajiri na utabaki bila people when they are poor wakati ndio wakati maskini mungu akiwafanya matajiri they pave away from the will of god wanatoka katika mapenzi ya mungu you are greeting me pastor how are you i'm fine man of god then when i become rich when you bring your hand like this to me i say oh hallelujah <laughs> I look for another big big bishop who is rich like me. Eh? I say oh man of God, how will you feel? Forgetting that even you are on the line of God mm. to be made rich. It doesn't mean that God has forgotten you. Yes, haijali haimaanishi ya kwamba Mungu amekuacha. Pengine Mungu alianza na mimi, lakini wewe ndio unafuata. There's a bishop who refuses greeting me. Kuna nakumbuka kuna askofu alikataa kunisalimia. Because I was poor kwa sababu nilikuwa maskini I remember even another pastor who pushed me Nakumbuka hata mwingine aligonga teke In a big cruise which was here <laughs> Katika cruise ya mkutano wa yadara uliokuwa hapo Another pastor who want to be to, to stand here Wachungaji tulikuwa tumekusimama mm. mm. Peter Young Green mm. and his wife Na Peter Young Green alikuwa na mke wake And they said pastors you should go around like be be around like this wakasema wachungaji yeah, so, msunguke so hivi people should not just walk, walk into this altar ili watu wasitembee tembee katika ya madhabahu so me was standing there like this mimi nikasimama pale hivi because i didn't come with v8 i didn't come with harrier kwa sababu sikuwa na v8 na harrier i didn't come with volkswagen i didn't come with, volkswagen. I didn't come with uh, mercedes sikuja na mercedes i didn't come with any big car came by sikuja na big car nilikuja tu na matatu and i'm not even known hata sijulikani mimi nilikuwa mgeni katika sehemu hii then he came like this hivi alikuwa mwanamke alikuwa kati ya wale watu ambao walikuwa juu alikuwa anawakaribisha watumishi wa Mungu akiwakaribisha watumishi wa Mungu wakati watumishi wa Mungu walikuwa wanaingia so they were coming they were coming so that they climb up the the whole time me I was standing here walikuwa napanda mimi nilikuwa nimesimama pale najua roho wa shetani alimtuma kwangu akanisukuma What is happening? Nikajiuliza nini kinaendelea? To God people are coming to I, I seems to be I'm one of them or what? Nilifikiria mimi ni mmoja wao. Then he told them then he came and told the men of God climb climb up here. Akaambia watumishi wa Mungu baada ya kunisukuma. And I said oh. I continue doing my work. Nikaendelea kufanya kazi yangu. I didn't complain. Si kulalamika. I knew. Nilijua. The Lord I worship. Mungu ambaye namwabudu wakati mmoja atanikumbuka as the days went by wakati siku ziliendelea i went to another one nikaenda kwa mwingine but after she pushed me baada ya kunisukuma all men of god who were there watumishi wa mungu wote walikuwa huko i'm a prayerful man wakajua mimi ni mwombezi so they, they, they looked at it wakatazama so the, the bishops who were here wa maskofu ambao walikuwa pale Some of them came and greeted me. Wakaja wakanisalimia. Sina bishops here. Watumishi wakanisalimia. Man of God relax. Mtumishi wa Mungu tulia, usijali. Relax. Tulia. Let's hear this meeting. Wacha tusikie huu mkutano na uishe. I went to another meeting. Nikaenda mkutano mwingine. Then I went to greet one bishop. Nikaenda kusalimia askofu mmoja. Like this. Hivi. You know if you put your hand like this. Stand. Now you want to greet me alipotaka kumsalimia akamwangalia hivi na aka Father in Jesus name I'm saying that we should go and continue like this I I said wow 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 Nasema wa Even a bishop cannot greet a pastor Hata askofu hawezi salimia mchungaji na wapendwa je The brethren are in trouble if we cannot greet a pastor Wapo hawezi salimia mchungaji The brethren are in trouble my friend Na wapendwa je I said I forget about it. Nikasahau nikasema wakati Mungu mmoja atanikumbuka. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. One time God remember me. Wakati mmoja Mungu atanikumbuka. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise be the name of the living God. Amen. Do not be discouraged. Usitukufa moyo. Stand firm. Simama imara. Press on. 
na tutumie mbele amen god does not have tribe god does not have class class of people what mungu ana kiwango cha watu anatupenda sisi wote and it's just time frame na ni anakuwa na wakati wake anaanza na mimi kesho ni wewe usingine ni wewe hivyo ndivyo Mungu anafanya kazi iwapo tu moyo wako uko pamoja naye unganisha moyo wako na Kristo unganisha moyo wako na Baba Mungu Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu na na Bwana litukuzwe so when they did like that wakati walifanya hivyo the time came wakati ukafika i'm now a millionaire mimi sasa ni milionea than them saidi hawa than them saidi hawa i bought a latest mercedes s350 s350 alinua mercedes was driven by present present kibaki ambaye ilikuwa inapelekwa na rais kibaki and he saw me with it na akaniona nayo and he, of your leadership effect effectiveness tabia yako ni kulingana na uongozi wako kikamilifu hallelujah Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The quality of your character. Chinzi ya tabia zako. Is the measure. Ni of kipimo your leadership effectiveness. Cha uongozi wako kikamilifu. Hallelujah. Amen. How can you be effective in your leader? Unaweza aje kuwa kiongozi mkamilifu. Effective effectiveness in the, your leadership is determined by your the, the quality of your character. Ufaniki yani kipimo cha uongozi wako unategemea na tabia yako. If you are effective, your character is effective. Hallelujah. Mm. Iwapo tabia yako ni kamilifu. Then people will see this the rightful leader we need. Watu wataona ya kwamba huyu ndio mtu ambaye tunahitaji. Praise be the name of the living God. Amen. Praise be the name of the living God. Amen. The quality of your character is the, is measured by you are eh uh, like we put it, the quality of your character is measured is a measure of your leadership. Uh, tabia tabia ya u, yako inapimwa na wingi wa uongozi wako. Ama tabi, ama tabi, tabia zako. Tabia zako zinapimwa na jinsi ambavyo unaongoza. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Tunaelewana? Mm. The quality of your character. Uh, Sehemu za mienendo ya tabia zako inapimwa na uongozi wako. Si ni kweli? Mm your character is measured hallelujah tabia yako inapimwa hallelujah na uongozi wako the quality of your character is measured hallelujah yes. is the or is the measure of your leadership wewe uh, kipimo cha tabia zako inaelekeza chizu unavyoongoza your leadership is measured by your character kwa upande mwingine uongozi wako unategemea na tabia yako and the quality of your character na uh, mienendo ya tabia zako hallelujah we can twist it the other way tunaweza ibadilisha kwa njia yote si ni kweli hmm. the quality of your character mienendo ya tabia zako ama the leadership of of uh, ama your leadership ama uongozi wako is measured by the quality of your character unapimwa na mienendo ya tabia zako quality ya uongozi wako hallelujah ama uongozi wako unapimwa na tabia zako na quality ya tabia zako yani mm. yani muundo ama sasa mm. mama Kiswahili kizuri quality quality ni ngumu eh ama wajibifu wa wajibika wa si wa tabia yako unajua tabia yako mm. ndio ndio inafanya watu wajue kwamba wewe ni kiongozi mzuri haleluya sasa kipimo cha tabia zako haleluya kina eh, eh, kipimo cha uongozi wako kinapimwa na tabia zako. Haleluya. Tabia zako ndio zinaleta kipimo cha nini? Cha uongozi wako. Kama tabia yako ni duni, hata uongozi wako utakuwa nini? Duni. Kama tabia zako ni nzuri za kupendeza, hata uongozi wako utakuwa nini? Wa kupendeza. Na utakuwa na mazao. Haleluya. Your character will have will have effect even to the church and the and, and to the brethren tabia uongozi wako utaleta mabadiliko hata katika wapendwa haleluya amen but if you have a zero character lakini wapo tabia yako ni zero leadership will also be zero hata uongozi wako utakuwa sifuri haleluya but if your character is effective 
iwapo uongozi wako uko kamili is determined by the measure of your character unapimwa na kulingana na tabia zako ama the quality of your character mm. at ani tabia zako zikuwa nzuri sana mm. hata uongozi wako utakuwa nini mzuri mzuri haleluya mm. praise be the name of the living god Amen. na uongozi utakuwa mzuri na utakuwa na mazao Amen. haleluya Amen. haleluya Amen. waweza kuwa na tabia duni na uongozi wako utakuwa duni na mazao yako utakuwa nini duni, duni. haleluya mm. lakini ukiwa na uongozi mzuri haleluya unaheshimika una haleluya na uongozi na heshima wengine na kuona wengine ni watu haleluya una value wengine yani unaona wengine unawadhamini una Kiswahili kizuri kwa dhamini. Yes. What I'm saying that you you are leadership, you value others. Uongozi wako unawadhamini wengine. Even in the church you value everyone the same. Hata kanisani unawadhamini kila mmoja sawa sawa. The, the, the way Jesus used to do. Jinsi ambavyo Kristo alikuwa anafanya. Si kuna mama yule alitoa shekeli moja. Mm. Si ni kweli? There's a Bible a lady who gave one coin. Is it one coin or we call it what? One coin. Kwa coin and there are people who gave more shekel but this mama had only that shekel and she gave it whole heartedly mm. what did jesus say he has given more than the others she has given more than anyone else mm. because she gave the only mm. one she had as much as it sounds little but she gave with all her heart yes hallelujah mm. hallelujah hallelujah amen she gave with all her heart, heart. Cheerfully. Kwa moyo wa upendo kwa moyo wa kujitolea. Hallelujah. Amen. Have you understood something? Umeelewa kitu. The next level is E. As we as we move on. Kiwango kingine tunapoendelea. Let's see the development of a character. Kukua kwa tabia. A character development is a lifelong process that continue that requires continual working. Kukua kwa tabia ni kitu ambacho kinaendelea kwa maisha. You should not stop your, you, you, know, you should not stop once. Aiachi tu mara moja. You, you should work on your character. Lazima uendelee. We should pray God to work on our character and also we should work on our character. Tuendelee kuomba Mungu atusaidie kukua tabia zetu. If, 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 if I've been lying people. Mm? I should tell God to help me to stop lying. Iwapo nilikuwa nadanganya niambie Mungu anisaidie niache kudanganya. So God Uh, the teaching of today says we should continue working on our characters. Mafundisho yanayo yanasema ya kwamba kama viongozi tuendelee kukua katika We continue working on our characters. Tuendelee kukua katika tabia. Things that we feel that they don't belong to us. Yale mambo tunasikia ya kwamba hatuyahitaji. Not making us to serve God well. We tell God pull them away. Yale mambo tunasikia ya kwamba yanatuzuia kutumikia Mungu. Tuambie Mungu ayaondoe. Cut them off. 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 We continue doing that is a process. Ni when ni somebody's character is a process. Ni kitu ambacho kinaendelea. Character is a process. Kubadilisha tabia yako ni kitu ambacho kinaendelea. That you can say today ah I'm born again. Today I'm like this. It is a process. Si kitu ambacho utafanya siku moja useme hapana iko hivi. Ni kitu ambacho kinaendelea. The spirit of anger kuna roho wa kukasirika kuna roho wa ku kuna roho wa kugombana kuna mambo mengi yako ndani yetu kwa hivyo Mungu toa roho wa toa hii ya kugombana until we come whole and acceptable before God mpaka ukamilike ukubariki mbele za Mungu ni kitu cha kuendelea haleluya haleluya Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It is a process. Amen. Ni kitu cha kuendelea. It is a process. Mm. Yeah. 